Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III! Alright, since the last time, we made it down here to Dorga's Cave. And yeah, we really don't need to heal up to the max. It's uh, not necessary at all, but let's go ahead and head in here. And hey, it's Dorga and Oon. Now to make the Eureka Key complete, we must battle and defeat Oon and Dorga. All right then. Weapons too powerful pe for people to handle were sealed in Eureka, but now those weapons are necessary. All right. And this episode's probably gonna be a little bit shorter than, well, pretty much uh, the other episodes, because I wanna do a lot of preparation before the final area of the game. For boss time against Dorga himself. Now, yeah, what you have to do, you have to defeat Dorga, and then we have to defeat Oon right after. You don't have a chance to heal up, so... Yeah, you pretty much want to heal up uh, during battle, and by the end of the battle, well, you want to be at max. And in my opinion, Dorga is... Well, he's a lot weaker than Oon is. Uh, Oon has the ability to petrify a character, which is really bad. But yeah, we just want to go all out here. And go ahead and use Bio then. There we go. And Cure 4. Oh. Or yeah, maybe I'm thinking of... Yeah, I'm thinking of Dorga who could petrify people. Huh. Okay, well we gotta get that petrify off now. Oh, alright then. Well, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Going into the next battle, petrified. Get 1,100 experience. Well, yeah, we don't want to fight you. Her soul will not perish. For boss time against Oon herself. Okay, Oon has a... Actually, yeah, instead of... We don't want to be casting spells on her because, well, she can cast Reflect. So let's go ahead and use a soft potion there. And yeah, she has a Whirlwind ability that'll drop a character down to critical HP, which is really bad. You want to heal them up with Cure 4 as quick as possible. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. Okay, um... Uh... Should we use a... Yeah, I guess we can use a God's Wine on Lunith there. That should be fine. We'll have two left. We want to save at least... Well, at least two for the final area. Yeah, and Oon and Dorga, they have the same amount of HP, but... Well, her physical defense is a lot less than Dorga's is. Should be able to take her out right here. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to do on Refia. There we go. But yeah, pretty much before the final area of the game, I'm gonna take everything I have out of the fat chocobo out and just sell it all off for the gold. We want a lot of gold before heading into Eureka or the Ancient's Labyrinth again. Also, I want to get everybody up to at least level 45, maybe even higher than that. I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Dorka now. Now the Eureka Key is complete. And right here we received the Eureka Key. Now go to the tower protected by the four statues, the Silk's Tower. Yeah, the Silk's Tower is within the Ancient's Labyrinth. You have to actually go through the Ancient's Labyrinth before getting to the Silk's Tower. Entrance to Eureka is in the Silk's Tower. All right, then. We'll see you later, then. Okay, then. And right here we get the Silk's Key. And they die. Well, they do. I mean, what do you expect? Okay, yeah, let's uh, cast exit and get the hell out of here. Now, pretty much what I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to meet you over at the Ancient's Labyrinth. So I'll take care of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I made it back over here to the Ancient's Labyrinth. I also switched the Nautilus out for the Invincible. Also, I did what I said I was going to do. I, uh... Well, I went into the Invincible... Withdrew everything I had from the fat chocobo, sold it off. Look at that gold! 
uh, over 1 million gold, or gil. Also, I maxed out my high potions. You absolutely want to do that. Got 99 of them. We want a couple elixirs, even though you can't actually buy them. So yeah, you want to save them. I also withdrew and kept the shuriken. We're going to be using that in the near future. I also purchased uh, up to... Eh, if you can get up to 15 or... Well, 20 soft potions. You might as well go ahead and buy them. There's a lot of enemies inside the Ancient's Labyrinth that can actually stone you or petrify you. And you don't really want to be using your... Well, your soft spells uh, to cure that. And you can just buy soft potions and all the high potions inside the Invincible. So I rest it up. So let's go ahead and explore the Ancient's Labyrinth. I'm actually not going to explore the whole area today. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple enemies... And I'm pretty much going to stick around the entrance of here and get everybody up to at least 45. So let's go ahead and head left first. It doesn't really matter which way you take. And here's a great demon. We fought this guy before. But I might as well keep it on screen. And yeah, we're going to be making at least two trips through here. So don't be afraid to be using your spells here. Oh, and he summoned another demon. Huh. Oh, I thought Ingus was about to kill him. But yeah, don't be afraid to be using Bio and even Arrow 2. Uh, because we're going to be heading back to the Invincible after we get through the Ancient's Labyrinth, but before the Silks Cave. I'll do that off screen. But uh, not right now. And yeah, he can whirlwind you, but yeah, it's an Un clone. I love that in final, uh, in final areas of the game where they actually have clones of bosses as... Well, regular encounters. It's a nice touch. But yeah, these enemies here give pretty good experience. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and cure for that. And the reason we want elixirs is because later in the game, we're going to be, well, pretty low on spells by the end of this area. Well, when we, when we reach the Silks Cave, and, well, we want to be using our elixirs on, well, Refia and Ingus there. Go ahead and buy all them all. And arrow two. New enemy, Iron Claw. I don't believe these guys split. I could be mistaken, but... Well, we one-shot them anyway, so... It's pretty nice. Yeah, and oddly enough, I'd say the biggest drawback in this game is you get Warlock and Shaman, the job classes, way too late in the game. I mean, they give you the classes in the final area of the game. I really don't like that about this game. I mean, it would be nice before, like we got them before the Cave of Bahamut or something like that. And right here we get another elixir. And yeah, if we go left, we can actually go further into the Ancient's Labyrinth, but I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, yeah, we'll fight this one battle. Might as well, and then we'll call it a day. I'm going to get everybody up to level 45. And yeah, you absolutely want to have as much gold as possible. We're going to be spending all of it. All one million gil. Because we want to be purchasing a couple spells later in the game that'll just cost massive amounts. And an, a special item that we'll be able to use. But that's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. This is RPGLPs heading out. I'll see you next time.